Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It is always better to ask questions than make an assumption. Have the courage to ask questions until you're as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to that question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 144, NASDAQ up 98, S&P's up 26. Gold, gold contract trading up $8.50 at 1872 an ounce. We have silver flat, $21.92 an ounce. Light sweet crude, down 47 cents. $85.91 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down five ticks, trading 107.22. The 30-year down two at 111.31 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 240 ticks, trading out at a price point of 105.843. I'm going to show you a second. We, it broke its uptrend. Euro's at 105, yen's at 148, British pounds at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world. So in the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you're going to have a slow grind here. That's what you're going to have. And that's just enough to get everyone totally, you know, basically on both sides of the market saying, no, 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 it's going to break down. Oh, yes, 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 it's going to go up. Bottom line. What you had with the SPY out here today, the SPY just got inside its larger range. That's another indication that we're going up for the highs, okay? Bottom line, we got inside that 433.01. You're at 434.925. We go into the Qs, which are leading the charge. What you have with the Qs, Qs out here, they were only under that swing point for one day. And what you have out here, the Qs are trading up 257, 369.13, and we go to the notes and bonds. Why the notes and bonds? Because the bottom line is that if interest rates have topped, my, my take is that interest rates have topped. So we'll see how this shakes out. But uh, bottom line, if the 10-year right now rejected lower price today at 107.10, you're at 107.22, it's only a couple days up, okay? What we had done, though, is that we had come down and didn't break out the bottom last Thursday. You can see what happened here. You, you came down hard. You know, you didn't get to the bottom. Well, the bottom, that bottom was 106.03. Uh, we got to a price point of uh, 106.06, and it had lighter volume, rejected it. That's always a good indication that you just might have a bottom coming in. So we'll see how that shakes out. More so than anything, though, it, it has to do, well, it has to do with that, because if, in fact, the rates start going down, you'll see the weaker dollar. And what you have here, you can see what we have out here, the bottom line, is that since July 14th, the dollar hadn't been down more than two days. In this particular case, we're down five days, but what we also just did is that we also broke its uptrend. You broke the channel line. So now the question's going to be, okay, you get, you get a nice, it's a nice break. It's a nice break. Down 255 ticks, not bad. It's a quarter of a penny. You can see it's a, it's a decisive break. So when you break something like this, your first get-go is right there. Your first get-go is saying, okay, we're at 105.800. Now, 104.690 is going to be a lot of support because if you break that, then you're going back inside the lower range. Now, that's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is that when you do break a channel line, guess what? You know, this is all the, the Bud Rolfs deal. Now, watch how this goes, right? You, let's picture this. You can go down to that level. Then you've got a counter trend bounce, and then it goes back up and tests that channel. Then you fall apart. Either way, bottom line, my take is that this market wants higher price. The metals want higher price. 
and we'll see what shakes out. You take a look at the gold market out here. You know, there's not enough volume in this gold market right now. 148,000 contracts. I want to see something like 215, 220. That's when you know you get some real buyers inside the gold market. You're up eight bucks, but gold can get down like 20 bucks in about a heartbeat. So inside the NDX 100, let's take a look at the strength, uh, who, what's running the NDX. Oh, look at this. What a joke that is. So you got Lucent, the car maker, up seven and a half, eight and a half percent. You got uh, Dollar Tree up three and a half percent. And Electronic Arts is up 3.2. Taken away from it. Netflix is down two and a half percent. You get Fast and All, yeah, which is off one uh, percent. Inside the Dow Industrials. Let's take a look at the Dow Industrials. This would be point wise now. You have uh, Boeing up 33 points. Home Depot, uh, they're putting 33 point, positive points in the Dow. Home Depot 27, Caterpillar 17, Visa 15, take it away from it, United Health 12, Travelers 7. If we give it an update on the Friedman uh, trial, this, this guy, this is guy, you know, the, the, the difference between him and Madoff is that this is a young guy that's going to be going away for a long period of time. So you just had out here today, you know, the bottom line is that uh, his two close associates, you know, on the stand, basically given a firsthand uh, <laughs> accountability of uh, just how much money they all stole. <laughs> You know, that's the bottom line. But what, he, what has happened is that you get these two that flipped, meaning that they're now working for the prosecution, and he's going away forever, folks. I don't know, like, how. I guess the difference is, is that if, he, if he's 30 years old, I, who knows? He's going away forever, though. This is, this is a Madoff all over again, except that it's a lot more money. Stay right there, folks. Good on, man. Mr. Basil Chapman coming up. We have the Dow Industrials up 147, Nasdaq's up 96, S&P's up 25. We're coming right back.